Don't ask. Nephilim grinned. Now you woke my interest. I'm all ears. Okay. So, I want to check out that new club they had been advertising so much lately. It's so hot that it took me one week on the waiting list until I finally got in. Can you believe that? Anyways, it's called Game. And that's basically what it's about. When you enter, you have to decide what you want to be for the night. Hunter or Game. There are men and women on both sides. Let me guess. You chose to be Game, Nephilim added in. Adriel stopped his report for a moment and gave her a sideways look, then continued. You get a pin that projects a hollow symbol above your head, showing what you are. Green for game and red for hunter. Then you enter a big maze, and they wish you happy hunting. Hunters have the choice of whoever they want to hunt, men or women. Game don't get options. What happens if you catch one? You can do with them whatever you like. Sounds kinky. So, what happened? It took me maybe 20 seconds to catch some guy. I would have caught any of them blindfolded and jumping on one leg. A hilarious sight, to be sure. What else did you expect? Adriel sighed. No idea. Perhaps a slight hint of a challenge? Did you show them who you are? He laughed. <laughs> Hell no. I didn't want them to run screaming in panic. But maybe I should have. What happened next? I see I won't get away without details. The guy looked at me with big eyes, and he said, he mimicked a high-pitched voice, Oh no, you caught me. Please don't hurt me. I'll do whatever you want. Nephilim chuckled, while Adriel continued. And one minute later, he was all, Oh, yes, yes, take me. Have your way with me. Nephilim chuckled more. It was embarrassing, Adriel said. At least I know now I'm not into role-playing games. Did you let him go then? Of course not. He was kind of hot. And the entrance fee cost me a shitload of money. <laughs>